One of the challenges that I faced when I created my first daily sales report or daily billing report was automation of this section of the report. The number of days billed and number of billing days in a month. Look at the calendar for the month of May 2020 for Canada, for example. Let's count how many billing days we have here. So we have five billing days here from Monday, May 4th to May 8th, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, and 21. But we do have a holiday, which is the 18th of May, which is Victoria Day. So in reality, there are 20 billing days in the month of May. So how do we make this automated so that Excel automatically calculates the number of billing days and exclude any holidays from the calendar? And then secondly, the other important piece of the daily sales report or daily billing report is the days billed so far, which is based on the number of days that have passed in a certain month. So for example, today is Monday, May the 25th, and this means that we have 15 billing days that have already passed so far. And why we need this is because sometimes we want to compare our performance for the month so far versus the full month budget or budget. Now, in order to automate the days billed and billing days, we will insert another sheet. So right click on a sheet, click on insert, and let's create another sheet. And what we need here on this sheet is a few columns. So, so we start with Jan, Feb, March, and then we select all of the three cells, and then we can drag it down all the way to December. Okay. And we start with the start date, which will be, can we drag it down? Yes. So if we drag it down all the way, we have the first days of the month. And similarly, we can also drag down the last days of the month. Okay. So we have the start and end date, and then we have to manually enter the days, dates of the holidays. So it depends on which country you are living in or you are reporting in, you have to add holidays. I will add holidays for Canada quickly, and then we will show you how the formula works. So now I have added all the annual holidays or public holidays for Canada. As you can see, we have in total nine holidays in Canada. And something to note, in the month of December, we have two holidays, which we will see uh, because uh, the formula we will use. We can also have multiple holidays in a month, and the formula should still work. So. Now the first step is calculating the number of days, uh, number of billing days in a month. So let's create another column called billing days. And the formula we will use is called net work days. So you will use equal sign net work days. And you have a start date and end date. And then you also have a date of the holiday. So simply we will use the information that we have now, start with the start date, comma, end date, comma, and the number of the date of the holiday, okay? Now in the date of the holiday, you can actually give a range, right? Because in the month of January, we only have one holiday, but we know in the month of December, there are two. So we can actually drag it to give it a range and the formula will work. And now you close the brackets and it gives you 22 billing days for the month of January. And then you simply copy the formula all the way down and you can see your billing days are available. And if you look at the month of May, we have 20 billing days just as we checked a few minutes ago in our calendar. If I, for example, remove the holiday for 18th of May, you see that the number of billing days changed to 21st, right? And if I, for example, add another day, just in case, if we had the 19th of May as a holiday as well, you see the billing date changed to 19 because our range includes these two cells. Now in your country, if you have more than two holidays in a year, in, in a month, then you can also drag it further and the formula will work. So for the time being, we'll remove this. And this is our billing days for each month. So we have sorted out this piece which is the total number of billing days in a month. Now, of course, we need to link the billing days to the month we are 
presenting in our daily sales report um, summary or dashboard. A quick way to do this is you can use the text function. So you can use, for example, the formula, which is equal sign text and the date. And this date, I assume, will be um, appearing in the report that you uh, publish. So if, for example, you are using a BW report or any other report, there is a report date and this will be linked to that report date. So you have your equal sign text and link to that date, the date of the report whenever it's published. Remember, it is going to be published on a daily basis and every day the date will change. So we want this to be linked to the report date, right? So going back to our formula, you will use equal sign text, link it to the date, and then you use a format which is MMM. You close your uh, inverted commas or quotation marks and then you close your packet and this will give you the month right so this formula text uh, looking up the date and then uh, three M's will convert your date into the month with uh, three letters right so for example if this, this date changed rather than May 25 let's say it's Jan let's say it's Jan 15th 2020 you see that the month changes here as well, right? And uh, you have already linked the formula here to the month. So the billing day is also changed here. But let's go back a moment. Let's uh, make it uh, change it back to the month of May. So how do you link this up? So you can do this uh, in this way. And do a VLOOKUP. And then you'll look into the month here which will update automatically based on the date of the report, remember? And then you link it back to your billing days calculation sheet. So in the first column, you have the name of the month and you select the first column and go all the way to the end to the billing days, which is column number six. So column number six and close it with a zero, which is an exact match and you enter. If this is now linked to the billing days calculation that you just created and if the month changes here or let's say if the date of the report changes here this billing day will also change. So if again we go back to Jan 15 2020 you see as the month changes here the billing day also changes. So we have now automated the total billing days now we have to automate the days build here. Now to calculate the number of days billed, what we can do is create another column in our uh, billing days uh, sheet and let's call it days build. Now we'll do the calculation for days build. So first of all, we what we need is the re report refresh date. So in this cell, let's link it to our report refresh date and I'm just going to link it to cell C6. And you can see here this brings up the report refresh date now we can use the same formula here we start with net work days we have the start date for the month the end date would actually be your report refresh date this time because now we are trying to calculate the number of days billed so far so let me just lock the cell by pressing f4 and then our holidays will come from columns F and G the same way as we did for billing days. And as you close the bracket and press enter, you see that this is showing us the number of days billed from the start of January 1st till 25th May 2020. So I'm just going to drag this down and we will fix this formula in a moment. But what it has done is already calculated the correct number of days billed for the month of May because this calculation for May is really starting from the month of uh, May, from starting from the 1st of May till the 25th, we have 16 billing days, including one holiday. But let's fix the previous months as well. And we can use a simple if formula here to fix this number. So in this case, for example, we will put, in, uh, put a formula saying if, 
and then I'm going to use the text formula again because what I want to do is I want to look at the name of the month and if the name of the month coincides with the date, the refresh date, then we will use the uh, the network days formula. But if it does not, then we'll simply take the billing days in the month that are already calculated here. So I'm going to say text and click on the cell, lock it again, triple M for the month equals this cell, which is the name of the month. Then we will use the net work days formula that we have calculated already. And if not, because as you know, the if formula uh, checks for a value which is true and value which is false. So if the value is true, then our network days formula will apply. But if the value is false, we'll simply take the billing days for the total month, just to keep it simple for the time being. Okay, close the bracket, press enter. And now you see it is showing you the total number of billing days for the month of January. And if you drag it all the way down, again, you will see that for all of the months, we have the total billing days. But for the month of May, which is our current month, we have the number of days billed based on our report refresh date. Now, instead of uh, uh, a number entering a number manually here, we want it to be automated. So we'll use VLOOKUP again, and we'll take a look at the month in the sheet and look at column number seven, where we have our days billed. So column seven and exact match zero. By the way, throughout this video, when I'm using VLOOKUP, I have been using a plug, a manual number for the column. I do not recommend using that. There is a better way of doing that. There is a dynamic way of using VLOOKUP so that you don't have to enter the column number. And what it does is it helps in, even if your original data source changes, if you add columns or delete columns, your VLOOKUP will still keep uh, pulling information from the correct source. So if you want to take a look at that video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and take a look at uh, that video. I will put a link in the description below. Go through that video. That's a great way of using the VLOOKUP function so that you don't have to worry about adding columns or deleting columns. Anyway, so if now we press enter, you see that in this case, our days build has also been automated and now it's pulling correctly from our calculation here. The number of days billed on the 25th of May is 16. Okay, so if now this changes to let's say 31st, let's say the date report refresh date is May 31st, you see automatically that your days billed have also changed to 20. Your billing days are still 20. So you will have the full view. If you are if you are using a calculation where your month to date budget is based on the number of days passed, number of days billed, then you see at the end of the month, it's actually matching your total budget number. And you can do a nice comparison of where you ended up at the end of the month versus what your full month budget was. But during the month also, if you are looking at say May 25th again, then you see that your month to date budget amount is really based on the number of billing days that have passed so far right that have gone so far and this way you can really compare um, your performance throughout the month so it's a nice daily sales report now your daily days build are automated your billing days are automated i hope this helps you if you have been using a daily sales report if you have been involved in creating daily sales report and you have to update manually every day the number of days build and every month you have to update the total billing days this will save you a lot of time and you can also automate your report fully if your report is generated from the system, for example, from um, uh, SAP B, BW or BI, then in that case, you can actually schedule your daily sales report without any intervention if you set up the report properly. Now, in this video, we have only talked about automating the days build and billing days. But if you want to see how I created this um, this uh, nice little summary of you know sales and standard margin um, and standard margin percentage actual compared to budget by customer, if you want to see that, uh, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know, and then I will share with you the.
the whole process and also I will also include some other additional pieces of information that the users find very useful because really the, the reports that you create it they are really intended for the users the managers the the general managers the VPs who want to see their performance on a daily basis so they want to see some additional information and you can add more detail more summaries for them and if they start to, um, seeing them on a daily basis they will really appreciate uh, what you're doing for them if you can provide this information on a daily basis so if you want to go into further detail you want to really look at a very nice detailed daily sales report with additional information like segment information and uh, information related to the products how you want to present that then make sure you leave a comment subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video if you like this video if you found this video helpful okay thank you very much and hope to see you as my subscriber bye for now